He came out as um, Davy Crockett. He came out as an NBA player. He came out as Vince McMahon. That's that's a bad move on his part. And I'm asking myself, what the fuck is he doing? You know, impersonating all of these people. What is he trying to do? What what kind of attention is he trying to pull other than the fact that people are going to kick his ass anyway? Damien Sandow, I mean, everyone has pretty much been telling me over and over again that he's going to be the next big thing. He's going to be the next big star. He's going to be the next world heavyweight champion. And I've told people straight to their face and straight on, on Facebook that I say, yeah, right. My ass. He hasn't proven anything yet. And then everyone gives me the same bullshit about the fact that, oh, don't worry. For me, give it a few months, man. Wait till, you know, you're going to see some progress. You're going to see, you know, he's going to become, you know, he was trained by Triple H and, and Killer Kowalski and all this stuff. And I'm like, yeah, okay, sure. And I stopped talking. I stopped talking and I let the ludicrous morons go ahead and start talking and rambling on about the same fucking thing. And then what do you see in Damien Sandow now? Nothing. Zero. Everybody makes a big deal about one superstar who everyone thinks is going to be a big deal and doesn't become anything. I'm probably not the only person that agrees upon this, but Damien Sandow is not going anywhere. He's not going to be a big superstar. He's not going to be the next world heavyweight champion. He's not going to be the next WWE champion. He's not going to, if he, if he becomes a tag team champion, that would be even better, okay? But the bottom line is, Damien Sandow, you can give me every statistic in the fucking world. I will look at it as this. I've been a wrestling fan for over 30 years, if not more. And I have seen wrestlers come, and I've seen wrestlers go. I've seen wrestlers that become big time superstars, and I've, be, and I've seen superstars that have become successful and died. I've seen superstars that have been there for that one time, and then they go on to another company to make even more money, and then they're gone after that, and they're not even in the business today. Damien Sandow is no different from any wrestler I've seen. When I look at a certain wrestler and when I see what he does in the ring and everything else in that particular nature, I will tell you whether he sucks, whether he's good, whether he's the next big thing, and usually I'm right about what I say. So here's the thing. The Miz, he is very successful. He's good at what he does. But he is more annoying than ever before. And everyone talks about how he is a better Hollywood heel than The Rock. Really? He is a better Hollywood heel than The Rock? Oh my fucking God, are you f You know, somebody actually posted that on Facebook. I actually read through that little comment. And um, here's the thing. 2003, when The Rock did his whole Hollywood deal and everything else like that, he comes back, you know, vest and all, coming in, you know, with the microphone in his hand. I still remember when he was in Toronto, Canada, and he, you know, the good thing about Rock being a heel at that time, he was entertaining, he was funny, and he knew how to piss people off. The Miz didn't piss people off. He made everyone annoyed by him. He was annoying. I mean, that's, that's the thing I don't like in wrestling. I don't like wrestlers that are annoying. I like wrestlers that'll piss people off. And if you piss them off the right way, you got something. The Rock, when he was a Hollywood heel, he pissed people off. Look at Canada, for instance. You remember that little thing that he did? He comes up with a microphone and starts calling a bunch of the Canadians. You know, he said, uh, if I remember correctly, 75... 75,000 of you mother Canuckers blew the rock out of the building. I remember that one. And I also remember him saying, you know, uh, the jabroni beating, pie eating, trailblazing, eyebrow raising, stronger than a bear, faster than a buck, the biggest thing to hit Canada because the maple leaves suck. That pissed a lot of people off. And it was entertaining at the same time. So you cannot tell me that The Rock was not a better Hollywood heel than The Miz. Because The Rock is The Rock. The Rock is the most electrifying man in all of sports entertainment. The Rock is a bigger movie star than The Miz. Because while The Miz can make this much money, 
making DVD movies, The Rock is making this much fucking money. And as a matter of fact, supposedly he's supposed to be in some X-Men movie in the near future. That's how big The Rock is. So this is what I think. The Miz, regardless of how successful he is, he still sucks and he is back to his old annoying ways, which is very, very bad for him. And all I know is Damien, all I know is The Miz, his career in the WWE will probably not last that long, despite the fact that he's married to a beautiful, hot, sexy diva named Maurice. And as far as Damien Sandow goes, Oh, where do we go with Damien Sandow? The fans seem to dig him a whole lot. He's a stunt double for The Miz. He's basically doing the same thing that The Miz is doing, but outside the ring. He's getting hit. He's getting, you know, it's like, what the fuck are you doing? And I'll tell you something. I'm hoping for this to happen in December of this year. I want the stunt double to take on The Miz one-on-one, -on -one, and if the fans get behind Damien Sandow, that's cool, that's fine, that's your stupid loss, not mine, you know? I don't care about The Miz. I think I like The Miz a whole lot better when he was a good guy, that's my opinion, and Damien Sandow, even if you turn into a heel, even if you turn into the against the Miz in every way possible, your career is not going anywhere. My advice to you, my friend, if you choose to leave the company, if you choose to leave WWE to pursue something bigger, might I suggest Ring of Honor and might I suggest TNA Wrestling, hopefully if TNA Wrestling is still in the business, which now leads me, we've talked about the Miz, we've talked